And I felt like I was losing out on life because I couldn't be the person that I wanted to be. And I tried so many things to try to feel better. I just kept getting worse. Uh, you know, people always ask, when you retire, aren't you going to be bored? And so I went through, when you retire, are you going to be physically able to do what you want to do? How, how long does this last? How long does this go on? Um, how long do you have to put up with it? Because that's what it is. It's, it's putting up with it. Did you know 80% of you watching right now will experience back or neck pain in your lifetime? Hi, I'm Vanessa Hill. And I'm Angie Mazzell. Welcome to the Southeastern Spine Institute's medical show on spine health. In this episode, we will be talking with people whose lives were so limited because of severe pain that they said enough is enough. And they were willing to go wherever to find a solution. The pain just continued to get worse and worse and worse until I, I literally couldn't take it anymore. And I put it off and put it off. And, and, and finally, when I arrived here at the airport and couldn't walk, I, I knew I had to do something. So I knew that there was a fix, and I was going to look for it. And since you pay a lot for medical insurance, when back or neck pain happens, you'll expect to go to the best place possible for treatment. Yet, today, the vast majority of doctors are employed within a hospital system, so they may be directed to send you to a therapist or an orthopedist working within their system. That's right, someone who might treat everything from shoulders to knees, but wouldn't you want to go to a back specialist, to a place that has the latest medical technologies? There are lots of advantages, I think, going to a specialized place. Now, first of all, you get multiple opinions. It's not like just seeing one doctor. The second thing you get is you get the latest medical treatment. It often lets them know they're in the right place. They really are in an institute. They're at a place that stays ahead of technology. The Southeastern Spine Institute believes that you should make your own choice. And in this program, we're going to show you why so many people come to the only spine-only practice in South Carolina. And one of the main reasons is that the Southeastern Spine Institute has everything you need all under one roof, so you don't have to drive all over town to get the help you need. One of the things that we've really tried to focus on is having everything under one roof so you don't have to go to a different doctor's office for a scan or a different doctor's office for a nerve test or a different doctor's office to see the surgeon. That they can do everything here. You get your MRI here, you get your shots if you need it here, you get the nerve testing done here, and that's what they concentrate on and that's what they know. So stay tuned to learn how people just like you are getting the latest treatments and technologies found anywhere in the country right here at the Southeastern Spine Institute. And since you don't need a referral, find out why more and more people are deciding for themselves to go to the Southeastern Spine Institute for treatment. After all, it's your back. It should be your choice. I'm fantastic because I don't hurt. I don't have any pain. And I'm back to doing now 97% of what I was doing before I had the problem. Um, I, I missed out on a lot of stuff. And so I'm just very excited to have my life back. The Age of Spinal Medicine Medical Documentary, brought to you by the Southeastern Spine Institute and Ambulatory Surgery Center. Once again, Angie Mazel and Vanessa Hill. You know, more and more people today are getting to retirement age. And the question for many is, will they have the good health to enjoy that retirement? That's what was facing Richard Shaw. He was having a lot of back pain, and he hoped that rest and retirement would be the answer. But after his return to the States, after a long career overseas, things just kept getting worse and worse. You know, it was a, it was a point in my life where I was looking forward to retirement and really wondering what retirement would be like. And, uh, and yeah, that, that did worry me, yeah. I was very worried that he wouldn't be able to enjoy his retirement because when he came home, he had difficulty at the airport. It was very, very hard for him to walk. He was dropping things. And at, at first, we didn't even realize it was his neck. Very worried, Richard and his wife, Lynn, wanted to go to the best place possible. And so they got in to see Dr. Richard Frisch at the Southeastern Spine Institute. Dr. Frisch came in, uh, you know, he asked me to walk. After he looked at the MRI, he did his work. And really, I couldn't walk a straight line. And, and I was in so much pain. Issues of balance, trouble walking, he was having weakness of his arms, trouble using his hands. 
and it turned out he had really severe stenosis in his cervical spine as well as is a large disc herniation and pressure on his nerves in his lumbar spine. He explained that I had nerve damage if continued to be irreversible. That is something that you do not want to waste time with because the longer you wait to do the surgery, the less chance that people will gain the function that they've lost. And he showed me on the screen the, the damage that had been done to the nerve and that, you know, this, this could get worse at, at any minute. Richard told us that he could have gone anywhere for his surgery, but he decided on the Southeastern Spine Institute because he knew he would be getting the latest and the best spine technology available. For me, there was really no question. I was getting the most up-to-date process I could have anywhere. And, and frankly, I could have gone anywhere. One of the new technologies that we've involved with is robotic assisted spine surgery. This is probably not the kind of surgery they did five years ago. I mean, things have advanced so much. People have the same problems that they had 10, 20, 30 years ago, but the way that we're approaching those problems is to do it in a way that is less and less invasive. While Richard did need surgery for his back and neck issues, over 90% of Southeastern Spine patients never need surgery at all. Many now get better using the latest technologies and techniques, helping people get out of pain without having to take drugs. There are a lot of new technologies available to us now doing different injection procedures and it basically gets us away from using these medications that are just making everybody sleepy and tired. Uh, we'll get this done and we'll see if this can really calm it down and then we'll... It's hard to be receptive to the beauty in your life if you're in agonizing pain and you're swallowing all these pills to try to make the pain go away. Along with that pain, I was taking nine different prescriptions a day for pain for my, my back. And it, I was still in a lot of pain. You know, there's a lot of other options and we're moving towards that, trying to get away from pain medications that are just masking the symptoms. We're actually trying to get to the root of the problem and treat that issue so that patients don't need these strong pain medications. That's the way I feel about these pills. Oh, you were good when I needed you, but now I don't need you at all. It is so good to see that the patients are leaving Southeastern Spine Institute with very positive outcomes. It really is. That's right. And one of their goals is to reduce the amount of pain medications that people are having to take. And they have so many options and procedures available to help people do that. But if you do need back surgery, rest assured, the Southeastern Spine Institute uses the latest minimally invasive techniques that there are today. And speaking of that, after Richard's modern surgeries, you can see he was feeling like a new man. And I saw Dr. Frisch and, and told him that this is the new me. I mean, uh, he had seen me before, that here I am now, and happy, telling him how much better I am. The back is better, the neck is better. It's funny that I told him, you know, I could be on one of your info commercials. <laughs> It's pretty amazing um, if you would have seen him when he came in. And so I think from a timing point of view, we were very lucky. You know, I get up in the morning, uh, you know, I do work in the yard. I cut the grass, work on the pond. I take care of my boat. I, I fish as much as I can when the weather's right and when we can make arrangements. I'm doing all the things that I had hoped to do when I retired. It's an important part of our lives right now that we can enjoy together. Richard and his family are now enjoying his retirement, and I can tell you, they stay busy. Well, it's good to know that even as people age, as long as they take care of their back, they can continue to enjoy life. But when we come back, we're going to have the story of a young person battling back pain. And this is the mother of three, and for her, this is heartbreaking. I don't like having to lean on people to take care of my kids. That's my job. And so when you can't do it, it's hard. Sorry. <laughs> if you've been told or think you might need back or neck surgery, you don't have to travel far. The Southeastern Spine Institute uses the latest surgical procedures found anywhere in the country for simpler operations and quicker recovery times. And since the Southeastern Spine Institute is in your own backyard, you know they'll be right there with you each step of the way, helping you get back to your active life. So call 866-SPINE-50 today and make your own appointment. Virtual exams may be available. Welcome back to the show. 
You know, for many of you suffering with debilitating back or neck pain, it's good to know that the physicians at the Southeastern Spine Institute are independent from any other hospital system. Dr. Stephen Paletti explains. Many times if you see doctors that are just within one healthcare system, you're limiting your options. Here at Southeastern Spine Institute, we're not affiliated with a particular hospital or a particular health care system, so we feel that we can offer an independent opinion. An independent opinion means that you can trust that you will be recommended to the best specialist for your specific back or neck pain. Plus, it means that the Southeastern Spine Institute will be there for you, no matter what spine issue you're dealing with throughout your life. And Angie, that takes us to our next story. After getting help with a back problem a few years ago as a patient, Chris McDonald knew exactly where to go when another problem came her way. Dr. Thomas Anderson starts our story. Ms. McDonald was a patient of mine formerly, and we treated her for some back issues that fortunately cleared up. Unfortunately, she was involved in a motor vehicle accident and injured her back again. We were waiting to make a right hand turn and the gentleman behind us decided he didn't want to stop. He wasn't going very fast, but it was enough to herniate my disc. And enough to cause Chris so much pain, she didn't know what would happen to her next. I need to be able to take care of my own family and the things that need to be done around here. It's very important to me. And for a full-time mom, not being able to take care of her three small children made things even worse. Mommy couldn't walk, and so I was crying because I was scared. When you're living in constant pain and there is a young family depending on you, there can be a real fear. Um, how long do you have to put up with it? Because that's what it is. It's, it's putting up with it. So I was very thankful that the Southeastern Spine Institute got me in so quickly. I don't know how long I would have lasted if they didn't. So she came back in to see us after her accident, and we got a new MRI scan on her, and it showed a massive disc herniation. Now, we always try to treat disc herniations without surgery if we can, and we have a lot of tools to do that. But in her case, it was clear that conservative treatment was really not going to help her. He didn't really want to do surgery right away. But the pain just continued to get worse and worse and worse until I literally couldn't take it anymore. So it was running all the way down the back of my leg, and then two of my toes down here had gone completely numb. Once we made that decision to go ahead with surgery, we did a small microsurgery on her to remove the herniated disc material out from underneath her nerve, and it worked. One of the reasons it worked was at the Southeastern Spine Institute. They used the latest technologies and procedures found anywhere in the country. So her surgery was what we call a microsurgery, and that's done through an incision that is less than an inch long. And we're able to use an operating microscope to magnify the field where we do the surgery to make it very precise, but also to allow us to do it through a tiny incision. I only have like an inch long scar, and that's all I have. I didn't even have stitches. They just put some butterfly tape on it. That's how they fix you. It's great. So after her modern, minimally invasive surgery, was Chris able to get back to her active life and taking care of her active family? I'm back to taking care of my kids. I can help my 10-year-old get his hockey gear into the ice rink. If my daughter wants me to spot her doing gymnastics, I can do that now. I can play in the front yard with my kids. I can, I can do anything. I can clean my house. All these things I, I wasn't able to do before I had surgery. It's really nice. I love to have her back. I love my mother. You know, it really is amazing that these modern, minimally invasive surgeries are helping so many people who once thought that nothing could be done for their pain. That's right, and it's also interesting that sometimes even those who have suffered in agony for a long time come out of surgery and they have less pain. All the stories you hear about people who have back injuries is I had surgery and I had immediate relief, and that is absolutely what I had. Did you know that a herniated disc in your back could sometimes be the cause of severe pain down your leg? The reason why people get severe leg pain with a herniated disc is because they have a pinched nerve. And that pinched nerve is the nerve that travels down the leg. Once we remove the pressure from the nerve, in many cases, there's instant relief. 
So I saw Ms. McDonald recently in the office in a routine follow-up visit and was happy to learn that she's out there with her kids doing all kinds of great things with them. And she even recently went to Hawaii where she was apparently surfing. So Angie, what's coming up next? When we come back, we'll meet a special needs teacher who knew she had to keep up with her active young students, but when she started having back problems, that task was not so easy anymore. And I could always keep up with them. You know, if they need to get on the floor, I could get on the floor, you know. But when my back got bad, of course, I couldn't get down there, and they didn't understand, why can't you come down and play with us? I might not be able to get up. Here at the special Southeastern Spine Health Seminar, doctors from the Southeastern Spine Institute are working to provide important information for people who are suffering with neck and back pain. We put these seminars on uh, basically to provide patients with education. You can learn about your problems, and many times we can review your MRI scans, we can look over your studies, and maybe give you a treatment option that hasn't been given to you before. You see you got a little wear and tear at the two lower discs down here. I got different answers from southeastern spine. A disc is pushing on a nerve, and that was not told to me from any other surgeons. So I want to move forward with that. New technology coming out every day, and people who years before were told there's nothing that can be done, well, there's a hope for them now. Hope that I can get back to playing golf and doing the things I was doing and being more active. These seminars are just one more way that the Southeastern Spine Institute is reaching out to help patients. After suffering for months and months with severe back pain and not being able to find the help that she needed in her hometown, Margaret Council from Myrtle Beach saw something on the television that was going to change her life. And the number came back up, and I jotted it down. And I called it, and I got live people, and they gave me an appointment, and I went. And the rest was like, thank you, God. After calling to make her own appointment at the Southeastern Spine Institute and then coming in to see Dr. Richard Frisch, Margaret immediately knew she was in the right place. He showed me my back. He showed me what had to be done and what was out of order that he had to do, that he could do. As it turned out, one reason Margaret wasn't getting better before she came to Southeastern Spine is that she had additional issues that needed to be addressed. Soon after seeing her, um, we realized that she actually had a bigger problem, a little bit up higher in her lumbar spine. Uh, it's actually from L2-3, it's come and, and migrated down below the body. If you look at the cross section here, you can see uh, basically where this disc is pushing in on the nerves. Dr. Fritz tells you in the Old beginning, surgery. this is what we can do, we can do our best. The best thing that we can promise is that we can take the pressure off the nerves and give them a chance to recover. And when you're at a point where your nerves have been compressed and they're not functioning, that's a situation where you need to get that pressure off uh, as quickly as possible. People that come to the Southeastern Spine Institute find that the staff there understands what patients in pain are going through, and they are trained to help. And that means a lot when they take you personally. Not everybody do that. Yes, we see a lot of people from different places. We have a group of staff here that um, have become family, that, that are comfortable here. I think they welcome a patient to make them feel that they're in that family environment and that they can feel comfortable and secure that they're in good hands while they're here. Most people coming through that door are, are in pain and they're, they're conscious of that. Always treat them like they're family. How would you want your mother or father to be treated if they went to a doctor's office? They made you feel welcome. I felt like I was, you know, uh, in going into uh, somebody's home. We've been talking a lot in this show about the treatment of pinched nerves and how it causes a lot of pain for people. That's right, and in Margaret's case, Dr. Frisch felt that the best course of action was to relieve the pressure on that pinched nerve by performing a new type of surgery. The main goal was to get the pressure off of the nerves to allow her to hopefully decrease the pain from that herniation, and then we were going to continue to monitor and treat non-operatively the other problem. Using the latest medical technologies found anywhere in the country, this modern surgery avoids cutting any back muscles, and it's performed by coming in from the patient's side. Making an incision less than an inch long and inserting a small tube 
tiny instruments are then used to correct any problems in the spine. This modern surgery has shorter recovery times, better outcomes, and may be done at Southeastern Spine's own in-house surgery center. If that's the case, there's no need to check into a hospital, and the patient can go home the same day. We have a lot of success at getting uh, people better. While performing surgeries to take the pressure off nerves, a team of medical professionals use many of the latest medical technologies to help keep a patient safe. We have many tools that allow us to do just that, including the operating microscope, special instruments, and neuromonitoring. Neuromonitoring is a process that allows you to monitor how the nerves are functioning during surgery because we're constantly running signals up and down the nerves from the brain. It allows you to detect it in real time. The most important things that we do as spinal surgeons is protecting nerves. After being in pain for so long and trying so many things, Margaret was happy with her successful modern surgery, and she was excited to be able to get back to her active life and to once again take care of things herself. I'm a very independent person and I like to do things myself. And to know that I can do that myself again, uh, I felt good. She's done fabulous. She was one again who was very fortunate that she did get a uh, return of function. But I like walking on the beach and that was one of the things I couldn't do, but now I'm back in the sand. And to me, it's, it's wonderful. Well, Angie, it seems like lots of people come to Southeastern Spine from all over, and just like Margaret, they find the relief that they couldn't find elsewhere. That's right. Over 60% of Southeastern Spine patients come from out of town, and they have learned that traveling to South Carolina's largest spine-only practice is well worth the trip. I would go to the ends of the earth if I could get relief. It's worth it. You have to do what you have to do. In Merle's Inlet, there's a lot of people that have already heard about Southeastern Spine, and the answer that comes back from them is, we hear nothing but good things about them. To ride that far and to get the results that I got, that was a very cheap price to pay. When we come back, you'll hear about people who travel to the Southeastern Spine Institute to find the help that they need. That includes a former nurse who couldn't find the help in her own town. She knew if she looked far and wide, there would be someone to help her solve her back problems. I was feeling extremely frustrated with the condition but having been in the medical profession for 40 years, I knew that there was a doctor out there that could solve the problem I had. Here at Southeastern Spine, they understand your back and neck pain. That's why they opened their new medical center so you don't have to live in pain and you can get the help you need now. We practice COVID safety precautions and there's no need to go to a hospital call. Make your own appointment at 866-SPINE-50. No referral needed. After all, it's your back. It should be your choice. Welcome back. Our final story is about a woman who, even though her husband had just passed, wanted to keep living her life and refused to let debilitating back pain deprive her of her dreams. I'm a new widow. My husband died about three years ago. And traveling now and filling my time is extremely important. And I was not able to do any of my normal activities without being in pain not finding solutions to her back problems in her hometown, and with an upcoming dream trip to Europe to discover her family roots, Marianne was willing to travel anywhere in the country to solve her back problem as soon as possible. Meanwhile, I had a trip planned for May to go to the Czech Republic with my sister to check my roots, and that was looming as something I would have to cancel if I could not get this condition under control. So I said, that is not an option. The good news was that Marianne was able to find exactly what she was looking for just down the road in Mount Pleasant. And although she would require surgery, there was more good news. At the Southeastern Spine Institute, they perform minimally invasive surgeries. And unlike the surgeries of the past, these modern techniques can help people get back to their active lives sooner. 
Now, years ago, that surgery wouldn't have allowed her to take that trip, but now we have the ability to do minimally invasive neurosurgery where with an endoscopic approach, we can unpinch a nerve through less than a one inch incision. My pain was relieved the day of the surgery. I had no sciatic pain, and as a result, I was able to take my fantastic trip. Yaksamash, here I am in Slovenici in the Czech Republic, having a wonderful, wonderful trip. As you can see now that my surgery is complete and I'm healed, I'm able to travel the world and have a wonderful, wonderful time. Dr. Poletti was able to heal my spine with the quick surgery. Uh, it, was, it was a dream. Marianne got to go on the trip of a lifetime, going back to Europe to rediscover her roots. It's really gratifying to see these modern surgical techniques allow people to get on with their lives instead of being held back. It's great to hear that modern medicine can now help older people get back to their active lives, even if they are suffering with back or neck pain. That's right. It was such a joy to talk to Marianne. She is so positive, and she offers some advice for those in similar situations. Physically, if you're impaired with something like I was that's fixable, if you can fix it and then be able to carry, have your dream, do it. There was something that we could do for her, and a lot of people give up. And what I tell them is get your back checked out because there may be a minimally invasive option that can help you get back to your normal life. When I saw Dr. Poletti when I came back, I just told him he did a wonderful job on the surgery. I have just a very tiny scar, less than an inch. He said, but he ruined my life. I'll never wear a bikini again. I'm 78 years old, but I'm not dead. We hope you enjoyed the show and learned from the stories of real people who came to the Southeastern Spine Institute and found out that they don't have to live with neck or back pain anymore. That's right. The Southeastern Spine Institute believes that you should make your own choice about where to go for your specific back or neck problem. And that's why so many people have chosen to come to South Carolina's only spine-only practice. So as always, we leave you with the thoughts of real patients who are so glad that they found the Southeastern Spine Institute. Be sure to join us next time and maybe we'll tell your story. Bye-bye. I'm fantastic because I don't hurt. I don't have any pain. And that feels really, really, really good. Being informed is important. I don't want to be in the dark. I knew what was going to happen, and it happened exactly the way they told me. I'm free from pain. I'm free from all that pain medication. Life is great again, and I'm almost 70 years old. Who would believe? The reputation of this place up home, all you have to do is mention Southeastern Spine, and they'll tell you, yes, I hear good things about them. And I'm sure there's others out there that's probably listening to say, is it worth it? Seek it and find out. You'll see. You, you'll be glad that you did. I'm glad I did. I missed out on a lot of stuff, and so I'm just very excited to have my life back. We hope you enjoyed the show. You can watch any of our Age of Spinal Medicine episodes by going to southeasternspine.com and clicking Medical Documentaries. And if you're interested in seeing if the Southeastern Spine Institute can help you or someone you know get out of pain, please call 866-SPINE-50 to make your own appointment.